Fate changed. I did it. I saved it. Now what do? The medicine bottle flew all the way to the side. The minister's fate has changed, but the situation still seems the same. I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? I think I saw a path just for a second while the minister was drinking the water. Really? Oh, while he was drinking, I could go up to the fan. After the fate change. Okay, as he was drinking, I can jump up in the fan. This is... Uh, uh. Alright, hurry up and choke. I didn't realize I could go into ghost form while he was drinking. So... Just gonna flip, flap, flop, flop. And he's gonna knock the meds away because he's dumb and a failure. Go for it. Hurry up. Flip. Saved it. Water obtained. And now up here. Spin harder. Oh, does spinning harder cause the uh, documents to blow away so he'll go get his meds? All right, let me let me do the thing. He's still breathing. He's not sure if he wants to die. And then I go whoom. Oh, I see. Do 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 it again. Do it again. I I see. I see the the path. Ha <laughs> ha. And now, I'm here. Okay, time for the next step. Now about this medicine bottle. I don't suppose I can just get it to roll? The minister's going to make a full recovery? I have to deliver this thing to him. But how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? Guess I'll just have to use my head instead. You don't have that either. Alright, so I can't make it do things, but I can... I have to make it shorter. This thing's pretty heavy. I could swing to it. It's sharp enough to cut the bottle in two, though. It's not long enough, is it? Such a reckless man. Ha! <laughs> Only cowards like to keep weapons around. That's... What are you on about? What a truly dangerous thing to have around. A, that's a decorative suit of armor. B... What do you mean only cowards keep- what? I prefer the, um, pathetic you, rather than whatever this false philosophizer is. F f philosoph- that You dumb! In any case, I bet I could use this sword somehow. Salute! He actually is saluting. <laughs> Alright, hang basket. Uh, turn? Uh, what's this? Undo. Alright, uh. Rocket science. I've screwed up, haven't I? That was really loud. That urn is a lot heavier than it looks. It's made out of some pretty thick iron. I wouldn't want to drop that on my foot. But I don't have feet, so I guess I don't have to worry. And then... Uh... Undo? Well, that's interesting. I undo, but what'd that do? I probably have to undo. I do believe I am... Stucketh. Put it down. Oh, that does reach. Close the curtain.
raise. What if I drop this? I've done it backwards, haven't I? Where's my dialogue? It's gone. Time passed, and now it's gone. Spin! What? I didn't turn it around. But now it's on the sword, so do I... What have I done? Huh. That looks really good. If only the medicine bottle was under that swing. I bet it would go flying. But to the wrong side of the room. I think I'm starting to form a plan here. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's jump back a bit. I have to go back here. Spin! I need to catch the Page Express. There we go, there it is. Alright, now that I'm here. Oh, I know. I know. It's time for the next step. I'm trying to get to the next step. You gotta stop interrupting me, though. Uh, let's see. Let's... Salute. Salute. Hop up here. Undoeth thateth. Go back down. Let's zip cross. Arm up. Spin it. Uh... This? And that should knock it over. Undo this. Oh. Wait, I think I've... I don't know what I've come up with. However... I can go here. Make this go up. And then... Swing it. I don't know what I've done. Oh. That was so close. The swing just had a little more reach to it. I think I'd better look for something else. Is there something else? Can I go back across? Can I spin the globe again? Actually, I can. <gasps> I think it's screwed up though. I don't think I can... Well... Actually, can this knock it over anyway? It can't. It can't do it on its own. Uh... I need a way to drop it. I don't think I have a way to drop it anymore, though. That's the problem. Hey, game, can you tell me if I'm stuck? I'd appreciate getting the call out sooner rather than later. Because I don't think this sword does anything now. Plus, it goes the wrong way. The other problem is it's going to make me start back. Oh, wait a minute. Can I just roll it? I can't. Ha. Okay, I'm going to let the timer run out, because I want to know how far back it's going to put me otherwise. So if I try and roll it back now, it'll put me back over here, and I don't want that. Just start me over here. Um, but I don't think there's actually anything else I can do. She's going to have another heart attack. 
just spontaneously. I get. Is this swing not gonna be it then? Or is it? I hmm. Now he just dies. Let's drink more water, dude. Alright, well. He is a foolish man, because... <laughs> and he had to create something that looks useful. That's right, the man's life is very like... It's very... Wait. Very life is like a seesaw. He never creates bells in his life. No wonder he is always out of kilter. Seesaw, eh? The question is, how do I use it? Alright, we won. Dude is so dumb and helpless, he couldn't even get up to find the meds himself, and I am stuck back here regardless, so... Let the tedium begin. Alright, let's just... Oh, I wish it would checkpoint me here and not way back at the stupid fan. Uh... This was poorly chosen. Let me go over here. Nope, go back. I need to break the the thing first on one side. Jump up, jump up, jump over. Snap that off. Jump back down. Lower. Jump over. Slide. Jump, lift. Jump. Uh, reverse this for whatever reason. Spin to win. Alright, now that I'm up. Oh, that's new. This urn is pretty light. Ah, that's the light urn. Once an urn is dropped, there's no getting it back. I guess I better think carefully about what I want to drop and win. Drop that. It's a pretty light frame for its size. There's sure are a lot of things that can fall down in this room. He's a fallen man. Ha. Huh. He deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head. I don't know about a fallen man, but... You talk like you, him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key here is what order the objects are dropped in. Yes. Yes, it is. I do this. Go back. Here. Salute. Spin swap. Swing. Oh, and the globe is big enough, huh? Swing to win. I understand now. Well, that was handy. My medicine. Yeah, you could have gotten up and get it. You know, yourself, but... D -d -don't, dude, don't overdose. God. What's wrong with you? Dude's gonna die from overdosing. Are you stupid? Why would you take that much? That's the whole bottle. as an entire prescription. In one go. There, the minister finally took his medicine. I think he maybe even took too much medicine. He's gonna die! Such a greedy man. Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? Oh, I'll cut the guy get some slack. No, that's how he dies. By overdosing. There, see? That is not how that works. Okay. Definitely not how that's supposed to work, but but okay. Huh, that was a lot of work. You bet it was. Only for the guy to overdose in the end. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh. He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope you learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. Can I get a present? I think I deserve one after putting up with all that. And so the Justice Minister is now back to life. But the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. 
and apparently our lady detective is the present cause of those furrows. Look, detective, he was sentenced after a failed trial, and that man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence! All they had was his own confession. But it was no ordinary confession. It was a confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back! I told you I don't want anybody coming near me. Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Huh? Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems now he wants to dodge his punishment. But... When he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. No... But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my, my duty as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Lynn, I'm here. Lynn looks like she's about to rip into the Justice Minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. Shwing! Cecil, there you are. It sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. You recognize that? I didn't think you'd remember. The minister has to The minister has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I tell Lynn what I learned about the kidnapping, but did you tell her about the fact that the kidnapping's fake? Kidnapping? He kidnapped the Justice Minister's daughter? No, but he doesn't know that. Apparently. Oh my goodness. But still... That's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. It kind of is, though. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the Justice Minister, then? Mm, the poor man. I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way... Do you think you could carry me? Alright, sure. Not very handy is it having no legs. Just gonna take the sword. This is not intimidating at all. This sword and globe combo is heavy. And I'm in here too, don't forget. Yeah, but I don't weigh anything. I guess that means a single soul is heavier than the whole world. Maybe we'll use this thing to try... Wait. Use this thing to persuade the minister to change his mind. How are you going to do that? You gonna hit him with the weight of the world? Good luck with that. What you saying over there? What are you going to do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this? Uh, <laughs> pay no attention to this. Kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question, were you talking to somebody just now? But of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing. I could probably talk to him. As ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? <laughs> no, there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Uh, don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me. Hmm. So now I'm a dream, huh? I suppose I should get over there. Mr. Minister? We know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. There's the heart attack. How can he take his medicine? He took all of it. Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped. If he isn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Amelie. 
But what if that execution isn't the right thing to do? Come on, Lin. If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? What can I do then? We have to do something with that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get to the get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping. In the only way I know how. Excuse me, I'm gonna do phone things. Oh yeah, I can talk to you. We meet again, Mr. Minister. What? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake. Uh, I'm not a dream. Looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. Again, you're invading this conversation that I didn't think you could. I think you're right. Stubborn justice minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head. Well, then... Talk outside your own head. Don't you think there's something fishy about this kidnapping thing? Fishy? Like tuna? I mean, the demand is to carry out an execution that was already set to be carried out. It's just like the minister said. There's no need for such a kidnapping. Hmm, you might be right. Are you talking to somebody again? No, no. There's no such thing. No such thing. I'm a realist. I'll never believe in them. Yeah, well, you should learn to face reality. Ghost is here, judging you. Not in the existence of ghosts, not in the escape from prison, and not in this kidnapping. This realist is running away from several very real facts. <laughs> exactly. At high speed, too. Anyway, let me try and find out more about this kidnapping. After all, I know where the kidnappers are. Oh, that's right. You have the telephone number. I think I'll go see what those kidnappers look like. It's the blue lady. I didn't jump over the phone. Nope. Stop it. The phone. There we go. See you later, guys. Uh, where was it? Right. At Yamato. YMT, whatever. I really should pay the kidnappers hide out a visit. After all, if we want the Justice Minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery. But I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble. So I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. You're a good guy, Sizzle. I hope you alive was also a good guy, because that'd be really weird if you weren't. <laughs> Elegy of a gentleman. Alright, clear chapter 10. It is 12.10 a.m. The night is in the middle. The Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of death row prisoner Jowd to be carried out tonight. Lynn says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her. And so I'm paying the kidnappers a hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction, or lack thereof. Hi, how you doing? What took you so long? There he is. Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them. Now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Next time, you should make it a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Ow, that hurts, beauty. But well, that's okay. That's what I love about you. So, uh, what's in the box? Oh, is that the murder machine again? Be a little more gentle with a valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes. Always keep a smile on a lady's face. Right, my dear? See that? Sit thou. There? See that, beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face, too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. All right. I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for a guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. All right, little lady. Let me open that trunk for you. Do you know how to open it? 
beauty. He fell asleep. It looks like the Justice Minister's daughter really has been kidnapped. Something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've ever been to this room before. Something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. Like something I, I've seen something like this before. Yeah, it's the uh, murder machine. Almost piece for piece too. Taking something uh, precious to manipulate others. So that's what kidnapping is. Well, usually it involves a kid, but yes. The dirty tricks those without the powers of the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, their power vanishes, doesn't it? Release the Kraken! I mean, child. Now then, time to see how the Justice Minister's little girl is doing. Before this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. Alright, we're gonna make it across somehow. Open! Do it again. Whenever I possess a door like this, for some reason I get the urge to send something flying with it. Those ghost tricks are kind of addictive. What do I gotta fling? Oh, burn brighter. There we go. Light the fuse of rebellion. Can I reach that? Aha, and now I can swing this. Oop. Oh, well, that's kind of funny. Uh, spin faster. Oh, there's the ball. And now I can slap it. Stop it. Slapper. All right, now that's there. Uh. Ah, oh, other side. There we go. I'm here. Mandel clock. Rock. Nope. Oh. Handle sconce. Well, it's not on fire right now, so... This is one of those things you light with fire, isn't it? As long as there's light in this room, is something like this really necessary? Or something can be lit. Kinda of makes me want to light it. I just need the core to reach the trunk and open it. I wonder if I can create a new core. Well, that sounds fascinating. What? Darn. I can't reach my destination from here. Yeah, I know. I, I figured that was the case. There's a doll. There's the ball. Now I can reach this. Spin it up. Oh, there's a lighter, like right there. Can I hit the lighter? Nope. Uh, fire. Nothing happened. You didn't see anything. Just my imagination. However, there is now a fuse to be lit. Just my imagination. That's all he has to say? What an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. Question is, how can I use it to my advantage? Uh... Cake box. Fire! Aha! You didn't hear anything. Just my imagination. Correct. Oh. Just my imagination. Uh, if it was any more laid back, he'd fall right off that crate. Look at that streamer go spinning round and round. Now, how can I make use of that by setting it on fire? I gotta reach that somehow. Uh, oh, I gotta take this up. Wait, come back. 
There we go. Come on. Made it. And now we shall burn ever brighter. It's not working. And the flame gets really big like this. For some reason, I get the urge to burn something. Unfortunately, everything is just out of the flame's reach. Until it's not. A little closer. Spin to win. Oh, well, that'll work. Oh, it shot it off into nowhere. Hope that doesn't burn. That's a lie. I want it to burn. Alright, now that the doll is lit up. I can send this to light it up. And now it's going to burn the clock. Or burn the thing to drop the clock. And now there's an intermediary point. You didn't notice anything. It is just your imagination. To the ball, to this, to the crate. The clock. Open it. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's... That's not... They got the wrong girl. Also, she's... She's just chill in this crate. How does this crate function? What in the... What's going on here? This little lady is... The little lady really... The daughter of the Justice Minister? N no. Unless she is. <laughs> this is a scene. Just my imagine. She's right there. What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, I always keep a smile on a lady's face. I wanted to treat our guest well. How about treating me well? Like some... I'd like some bread and milk, please. That's a combo. At your service, my dear. I'll be back in a flash. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been... Kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are just miserable and filthy, I know. But we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house! Hmm? This house is... where I used to live. Oh. Oh. What? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. Well, at least you're aware. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here, at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh, oh, I see. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about my bread and milk? Oh, of course. Now you be a good girl while I'm gone. You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home. You are home. Not quite yet. Okay, but where's Missile? This dilapidated place was Camilla's old house? What's going on here? I don't suppose I can... I can't talk to her. Wait, wait, she has a core, though. What in the world? Why does the little lady have the core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean... She must have died sometime after that. And I inadvertently saved her? And it also means... Somebody else must have saved her. What? Who? I'd better ask her what happened. How do you have a core? Hey there, how you doing? 
Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? M Missile has powers! He got powers to save her later! Missile, you champion! Yes! I'm sorry, I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel. It, it's pretty close. Sissel? My name is Camilla. Camilla? So it is her, I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little thing this is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax, you're not dead. Not this time at least. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute. Maybe I do remember, sort of. You do? It looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Hmm. So there's some other dead person out there who with special powers, eh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember anything. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure. Go ahead, sissy. You just gave me a nickname right away, huh? Sissy, eh? Uh -huh. Why a kidnap? Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the kitchen chick uh, chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. What park? Temsic Park. The shortcut to the Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah. Lynn always said, I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Yeah, she uh, got grabbed there last time. Ten years ago, what is it? Five years ago? Temsic Park, eh? What am I going to do? Lynn's going to be mad. She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box. The music box in the park. That's right, the music box. I might as well go with that right now, then. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I know, I helped you find it. Me and Missile. I finally found it. With a little bit of luck and courage. Guess where it was? On the Christmas tree? Hmm, I don't know. Where? I'll pretend I don't know. You know... You don't have to humor me. Oops. So what happened to that music box? I hid it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. Just before... Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I better let Lynn know. So about you, and also Missile. Uh, did Missile save you and now he's a ghost dog hero? Oh wait, but that implies he's dead. Missile, are you okay? This is your old house? Yep, this is where I lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know? She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. Was he the dude that tried to kidnap uh, Lynn? Is he the justice minister? My father is gone. Your father is totally the dude that Jow shot in the face. Gone? Maybe he passed away? No, that's not it. My dad. He's going to die. And it's all because of me. Is Jow your dad? What? What do you mean, because of me? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is... a detective. No way. Don't tell me your father is Detective Jowd? That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream. But it wasn't a dream. Five years ago, that murder case. Ask about it. Ask about it. Wahapum. It was mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working, and I was home by myself. And then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. I set up that contraption. You set up the murder machine. Oh no! I've seen this before. Why was it re -re recreated then in the other place? 
What? Why is... What is this? I don't... I don't understand the setup. Uh, you, you killed your mom? And he took the fall. I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. How was it supposed to work? Hmm. I know that contraption. And I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake. A birthday message. Someone set up the gun. My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is also unbelievably tragic. What is even happening? I can't believe it. The little lady is Detective Jout's daughter? I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know. Yeah, you're thinking it. Therefore, it's being said. Oops. There are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy, you're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we'd better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. You just hold on a little longer, alright? Okay. But we'll talk later, right? Don't forget! You promised, sissy! Cool. Um... We still got a problem. What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. Hmm, I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work, all for the sake of this deal. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. Alright, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. You just gonna fold Camila back into the, the trunk? Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. Well, that's a problem. All right, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady. <laughs> Literally just fold her back in. I don't know how this trunk works. Also, her book. Oh, I was in the book, wasn't I? Of course. That's how that works. I gotta get to a phone. All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in the room that stole the little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady is, lady, ah, the little lady is gone now, leaving with only a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know all about this? One other thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. The sum of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? It's slightly problematic. Cleared the chapter 11, though. Hey, there's Camila. So, from what I know, I think there's... Or at least from what the challenges page showed me, I think there's 16 chapters. 
if not 17, if it's 16 and one more. So I'm getting closer to the end. Chapter 12, 12.25 a.m. It looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jout's daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. Her life's still in danger, though. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. I'm glad it just warped me back. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. Hey, guys, I'm here. I told Lynn what I'd found about the kidnapping. That it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house. That they sensed my presence and were already gone. But Camilla? Why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old Justice Minister. I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. It looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution. It's just too much. That is really dark, yeah. It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are those other twists, too. Like the kidnappers winding up and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could just be coincidence. And them sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. Also, Missile is somewhere. I told you before, Detective. I want you to stand back. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister. It wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. I'm still here. I'm a ghost. How oh, can I believe you? I'm a realist. Then stop ignoring reality. Please. If you don't believe what we say, just see for yourself. Call home and... Uh, she's not going to pick up. I tried calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. She won't? It's complicated. Oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? I can go check. But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? That doesn't prove it. I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage would be killed. What difference does it make if it's not my daughter? Yeah, yeah, her life's still in danger. Woo-wee, that's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. Uh, Cabanella, please, we're busy. Miss me, baby? Inspector Cabanella! Don't do your whole dance thing. Damn it. <laughs> I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. That is a deep bow. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. I thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Oh, that's handy. We're all together. Hey, Jed, how you doing? The globe is still on the sword. Detective Jowd! Detective Jowd, I'm so sorry. I tried. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. Right, but that means incriminating, um, Camilla, which is not anything anyone wants. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye. Hey guys, I'm here. Lynn doesn't really know that Jowd is innocent. She just believes it from the bottom of her heart. The execution and the kidnapping are real threats, and time marches on. I'll gather information and see if I can't if I can think of something. It all relates back to me somehow. I just know it. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella? The execution was tonight. I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jowd could never have done such a thing. Ha ha ha! come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? 
I know two things to be true, and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty. And two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady. He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here... ...to brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons. That sounds spot on. So, were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? That's a resounding yes. Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lin. But, Detective Jout! I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But... Let me go talk to everybody. Hey, what do you think? My poor Emily. Is she alright? Actually, the girl who was kidnapped is named Camila. Why is a dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute. Emily? Could that be the Emily next door? Yeah, I think so. Wow, I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. He doesn't. His wife does. No, not me. My wife. It's, a uh, complicated. Yeah, I bet it would be pretty hard to admit she left him. The minister's wife ran away on him. Maybe they grew apart, what with him being so busy. Yeah, I bet you're right. Please stop gossiping about me in my own head. Well, then talk to us. According to what I heard, Amelie was supposed to go to some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers, they were lying in wait for her. But Amelie didn't go out after all. She couldn't. She had a fever. Huh. And so the kidnappers grabbed Camilla by mistake instead. Apparently, Amelie and Camilla are about the same age, and they're coming from the same building. The kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camila to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Oh right, you asked her to bring the music box. Camila. Hey Jowd, what do you think? So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping. Yeah, your daughter. Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? The carrying out of your execution tonight. Ha ha ha. I had no idea I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camila. What? Camila? Yeah, now it's personal, bud. I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No! It can't be! Papa Bear mode. And by the way, Camila told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camila herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him! I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Alma. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camila won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a cable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. She's still, like, she's still scarred by it. You dying won't fix that, because she still knows the truth. You sacrificing yourself doesn't make it better for her. It makes it worse. How are you so dumb? You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only pain this execution is going to ease is your own. Is yours. Yeah, you're gonna double up on her trauma, and then she's gonna blame herself for your death too because, oh, I killed mom, and then because I killed mom, dad took the blame, and then dad died, so basically I killed dad too. Are you stupid? Did you not think of this? 
I is it true what Camila said? Why don't you tell us what you know? Tell us about the murder five years ago. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's, Alma's, birthday. We came home from work, and she went in first. It took you a while to get in there, considering the whole contraption went off. What was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camila, just the two of them. So the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's so horrible! Camila told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to. Made an impossible move. An impossible move? Someone set it up then to trigger the gun. But first, powers the dead. It's been five years since then. I've stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I'd convince everyone of. Even me. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. The powers of the dead, right? That day in that room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. Someone ghost tricked. Someone ghost tricked the contraption. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple of other people who know about those powers. Oh, man. Are we going to have some ghost-to-ghost -ghost combat? Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. The kidnappers knew, uh, who abducted Camila knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. You now have something to fight for. A real truth. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Jowd. There's still time before dawn. A little, anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? An impossible move. Someone ghost-tricked a murder. But why? Why kill Alma? Camila was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. First was, of course, the firing of that gun. Right. That was an antique gun I had on display for years, which means it shouldn't have even been loaded, huh? So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? Let's see. Oh, it was tricked in that moment. Oh, but the, um... The contraption we saw in the basement of the junkyard was already pointed towards the candle. So it... Sh Right, 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 right. It's supposed to launch at the um, poppers to ignite it. But that's not what it did. It was spun around unnaturally. Right, that's what it's supposed to do. But you can see there's the extra rope. Somebody made a change to the contraption design and then manipulated it. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think through the things, through things then. All I knew is I had to protect Camila. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. What adjustment did you make? What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. The gun, eh? And to think of it. Yeah, it's not there anymore. There was no gun there. Just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with the picture. So it wouldn't be linked to the contraption. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption. But one thing was for certain. 
that gun was still smoking. So that gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. The music box is the gun? And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police. My own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. You fired an extra bullet into your wife to uh, make it look like it was that bullet, huh? When I was all done, I turned myself in. <sighs> Gruesome. Detective Jowd, is what you just told us now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time? Time to solve that case that started five years ago. You didn't do Detective Jowd. And of course, little Camilla didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. For Camilla's sake! That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Temsic Park. Camilla left it there. That gun is important evidence. You'd better go pick it up. We're having this conversation out in the open after having a whole mental conversation a while ago. Uh, hey, Mr. Justice Minister, did you hear any of that or did you ignore it in favor of your false reality? Yes, sir, I'm going now. Take me. Sissel, take care of Detective Jowd. What do you want me to do? And do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. And yet again, I say, easy enough for you to say. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. Uh -huh. A little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. I can't just go off to die without doing something. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you with a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see my old friend in more ways than one. He's determined to live now. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? Grow a spine, dude. The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. Disappointing. As you wish, Your Excellency. Please don't bow down to me. And especially not that low. He bows really low. In that case, can I have one of your boys arrange a prisoner van to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Yes, sir! Where did you pull that chair from? The van should take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row Inmate? If that's what you want. I'm glad to see the Detective Jowd all fired up now. But I feel like I'm under the gun here, so to speak. Even if Lin does come through with that proof of Jowd's innocence, it'll be meaningless if Jowd or Camilla dies. I've got to do something about that kidnapping, somehow. Maybe I should ask for some advice from the capable detective here. Indeed. We still got some tricks up our sleeve. So it shouldn't be that bad. Man, this seesaw is still here. No one cleaned that up. But yeah. We got some tricks. It's gonna be good. I'll show you, Cabanella. I'll show you all. <laughs> 